Hi, my name is Candace Stella Cruz. I want to thank everyone for joining me. Uh, before we get started, I want to do a real quick exercise. This is going to be the most important part of this entire speech, so play very close attention. It's actually going to require a little bit of participation. Okay, if you guys will do me a favor, and as I'm speaking, I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes, and I want you to, in the air, raise your right pointer finger. Keep your eyes closed with your right pointer finger raised. Put it back down. Put up your left ring finger. Ring finger only, left ring finger. Eyes still closed. Both hands down, and open your eyes. Now, why did you just do that? Why the actions? Why did you do what I told you to do? More than likely, your answer is going to be, well, because you told me to. But at any point, did you question, well, why am I doing this? Why, why would I follow these directions? These are ridiculous directions. No, because I'm someone who, because I have the floor at the moment, will consider it a person in, um, in power, authority, control, what have you. So it was just your response to follow through with the directions that I had been given. This leads me into our discussion today. We're going to be talking about the Stanley Milgram um, obedience experiment. Conducted in the 1960s, the obedience Milgram experiment was um, conducted by Stanley Milgram, um, who at the time was a psychologist at Yale University. Uh, this experiment was extremely, and still to this day, extremely controversial, um, as the participants weren't fully informed of what the experiment entailed. Um, the, the participants were originally recruited via a newspaper ad um, that was ran at the local college, or at Yale University, rather. So when the, the ad was ran, it was requested for um, these gentlemen between certain ages, you know, they gave the, the specifications required, that these uh, people were to come to this event and then they, the details would be explained. They were paid, um, compensated for their time, not a huge amount, but they were compensated. Um, this experiment, once they arrived, they were told that they would either be a teacher or a student in this experiment. What this experiment, or what it was explained as, and keep in mind, the students were actually in on the experiment as well. The only... Um, test subjects, if you will, were the, the, the teachers of the experiment. So as these people are arriving, the teachers, um, as they are arriving, they see these, this box and it's got wires and it's electricity and high voltage signs and these wires, just this huge, for in the, at the time, 1960s, a very futuristic contraption, if you will. So when, um, as they're arriving and they're explaining to the, you know, the participants what they're going to be doing, they're telling them, you're going to have your students are set up here. As the teacher, you're going to be required to ask these questions. Um, when they, if they score incorrectly or answer the question incorrectly, rather, um, you have to push the button that's going to deliver a slight shock. Beginning at a slight shock, working its way all the way up to 350 volts of electricity. Um, the label beside it just had an X. Um, there was um, extreme shock, uh, painful shock. I mean, these are the terms that these buttons are labeled and the people are reading. So as these people are coming in, throughout the experiment, he's noticing, Milgram is noticing that, you know, and the students are, are being told, when you get a question wrong, I mean, they're told to really react. And they're on the other side of a wall. So all the, the teacher is hearing is their response, screams, shrieks of pain. And then it goes silent. And all, when the um, teachers aren't really wanting to proceed, they're, you know, backing off and they're saying, you know, I, I don't know this, I don't feel comfortable with this. What they're being told by Stanley Milgram is, just continue. We must continue. We don't have an option. They're never at any point threatened, forced, violently, um, or aggressively in any way uh, led to continue to do this. They're just being simply told, we have no choice. This must continue. The experiment must go on. 
an astonishing amount of people continued, some up to the 350 degree full voltage. And this actually, the, one of the reasons why the experiment was so controversial is because there were actually people who suffered long-term psychological effects for the, from the damage that they were under the impression they had created. Um, you know, and the whole time, no one's actually being shocked or electrocuted. But it just, it really goes to prove to us, you know, we all like to think we have free will, but how much of that are we consciously using and are, are we really aware of the decisions that we're making or are we just following suits or rules that we're given and, and expected to follow and we don't question sometimes. So it really gives us something to think about. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed learning about it and, and, and actually I invite you to research the, the experiment and, um, and find out a little bit more about it. It was very interesting and definitely something I enjoyed learning. Have a good evening.